The Recirculator project is about bridging the gap between technology development and adoption by industry. So we already have a lot of technologies out there that industry could potentially use to turn their waste products into resources. It's really about developing pilot scale systems to demonstrate the uh, scientific and economic uh, benefits of uh, that technology. We have a number of projects around you know, in the circulator. These projects cover mostly waste, like plastic waste, which normally goes back to landfill, and we can use that into back into a circular environment. Uh, some of these projects include uh, a program where we have uh, partners in RTC, where we use waste plastics into a concrete aggregate. A uh, project of Brisbane Dairies, where you look at the nutrient to reach waste stream recovering a nutrient and reusing the water in the process. There's also projects like the one with plastic spirit where you can use the plastic waste and use that plastic waste into a pyrolysis process to produce either a fuel or basically take it back to a virgin plastic. Yeah. One of our projects is working with waste plastic using this extruder behind us to take shredded waste plastic and turning that into aggregate for concrete. The plastic comes out of the end of the extruder and is turned into extradite and then we grind up this plastic called Resonate and we turn it into aggregate. So we mix this in with um, cement and uh, sand and water and turn it into concrete, so lightweight. Concrete. Behind me is the compression tester and this allows us to test the strength of the concrete to see how much compressive load it can handle before it breaks. So one of the other applications for waste plastics is our project in collaboration with Studio Kite. They're looking at 3D printing small houses out of waste plastic, so taking the recycled plastic and using it as pellets for their extrusion process. So our project with Richmond Dairies is focused on nutrient recovery from their wastewater. So we're targeting their wastewater because it's rich in ammonium and phosphate, um, two nutrients which are traditionally found in fertilizers and soil enhancers. So the goal of this project is, is to allow Richmond Dairies to treat their water on site. This water can then be used for irrigation purposes and then we can recover the nutrients from that wastewater and use that as a um, soil enhancement. I think it's really exciting to work with project partners like CRDC and uh, Studio Kite and Plastics Pirate because it shows the real world applications of the work that we're doing here at the university. I really enjoy taking the theoretical work and then using it to help businesses promote and um, produce their own circular economies.